plastic with you? Only temporary. Usual. How you doing? Right, what can we look at? Re reconcile with Lieutenant Anderson. Listen, I got a shit hot tip for you. Number five in the third. Lickety split. Man, reflections are super good. You wanna flood it? Last shit hot tip you gave me sent me back a week's wages. <laughs> Come on, this is different. It's a hundred percent guaranteed. You can't go wrong. Uh, is the sound all right for you guys? Can you hear that all right? Nia is really good, Mel. I think you'd like it. It is very, very good. A bit quiet. Um, let's uh, turn it up a tad. It's going to get real loud at certain points, I think. But if I turn it up a wee bit, I can change it down. Right. Why am I scanning? Food hygiene, license expired, renewal refused. Yeah, I want to eat here. Let's see, criminal record, illegal gambling, fraud. Uh, anything else I can scan? Feels like there should be more. Ah, there you go. Resisting arrest, breach of hygiene regulations. No criminal records. Do you reckon he's got one and he's just like deleted it himself? Oh wait, was that something? Yeah, what about the random builder dude? I think that's probably it. Wait, what does it say? You just can't resist our food is prepared by a human our chickens were born with two legs and two wings only our sauces are homemade what are you waiting for uh, I'm kind of interested in a chicken with like four four legs now <laughs> breach of hygiene yep yeah. you definitely don't want to breach a hygiene in the chicken place do you wait what's that say smashed potatoes Wait, does anyone call them smashed potatoes? Do you not just call them mashed potatoes? You backed up your save, Tron. Uh, I, I, I just totally chickened out. I kept my save. Like, fuck it. Not deleting my save. Oh, shit. Actually, I've just said it, haven't I, as well? Shit. Oh, yeah, it doesn't really give anything away, does it? Does it? Oh fuck. My bad. If it does, my bad. Um I think that's it. Yeah, who calls them like smashed potatoes? Seriously. <laughs> yeah, ban me. Ban me. Try and ban me. Does it just shut the whole channel down? <laughs> I think that's it. All right, I'm in. Damn straight. Hey, won't regret this. You're not getting that money back, dude. <laughs> what is your problem? Don't you ever do as you're told? Look, you don't have to follow me around like a poodle. Um. Let's apologize. I'm sorry for my behavior back at the police station. I didn't mean to be unpleasant. Oh, wow. You've even got a brown nosing apology program. Guys at Cyberlife thought everything, huh? How, how fucked is this? Uh. That's a lot of salt, I think. It's also a lot. Should it have that much water in it? Really? Uh, no, thanks. Thanks, Mo. Thanks for banning me. I deserved it. <clears throat> to be fair, like, I don't really think it really gives anything away. 
a little bit maybe, but I'm sorry. Okay, I'm sorry. What's in this milkshake? Is it jizz? Uh, pineapple passion. Why are they letting us like scan this? Why are we so interested in it? Wait, it's look. The guy's called Jizz. Jizz's menu. No. Don't want to eat here. Yeah, let's, let's smash potatoes. Fuck off, man. Come on. Very creamy coleslaw. <laughs> you got spoiled as well, yeah. That was a social experiment to test how far... Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on a minute. Okay, Tron, right. Hang on. We're giving too much away now. Just going to purge that. Hang on. I'll, le I'll leave that one out. Don't want to give too much away about it. Yeah, exactly. Well, I mean, if it's Jizz's menu, Reese, I think we know, right? Is that the... Why are they, like, keep making me scanning this? Like... Is it just for completion points? Is it to, like, pad out this this chapter? Go. Ah. Thanks, Gary. I'm starving. Mm. I'll leave that thing here. Huh. Not a chance. Follows me everywhere. Undertaker, what's up, dude? Good to see you again. Uh, Alright, we can go, go over here and talk to him, I guess. See? Um, so we talk to him about gambling. I feel that like some of these are going to piss him off. Cholesterol, Will. Company? Enjoy your meal. Thank you. I don't want to alarm you, Lieutenant. But I think your friends are engaged in illegal activities. Well, everybody does what they have to to get by. As long as they're not hurting anybody, I don't bother them. Okay, he didn't mind that. Um, about Connor? Is there anything you'd like to know about me? Hell no. Well, yeah. Um, why do they make you look so goofy and give you that weird voice? Cyberlife androids are designed to work harmoniously with humans. Both my appearance and voice were specifically designed to facilitate my integration. Well, they're fucked up. <laughs> um... Hank and androids. Can I ask you a personal question, Lieutenant? Why do you hate androids so much? I have my reasons. Oh, we just got to ask him all the questions. There's another question there we didn't see. Maybe I should tell you what we know about deviants. You read my mind. Proceed. We believe that a mutation occurs in the software of some androids which can lead to them emulating a human emotion. In English, please. They don't really feel emotions. They just get overwhelmed by irrational instructions, which can lead to unpredictable behavior. Emotions always screw everything up. The androids aren't as different from us as we thought. <laughs> you ever dealt with deviants before? A few months back, a deviant was threatening to jump off the roof with a little girl. I managed to save her. So I guess you've done all your homework, right? Know everything there is to know about me? Uh, let's tell the truth. I know you graduated top of your class. You made a name for yourself in several cases and became the youngest lieutenant in Detroit. I feel like this might piss him off, but... I also know you've received several disciplinary warnings in recent years, and... You spend a lot of time in bars. Now he's got a bit of a grin. So what's your conclusion? <laughs> uh... Say sincere. I think working with an officer with... personal issues is an added challenge. But... Adapting to human unpredictability is one of my features. Oh. 
Yeah, that, that wink was a bit weird, wasn't it? The suspected deviant. It's a few blocks away. We should go have a look. I'll let you finish your meal. What was that weird look? I'll there. be in the car if you need me. Was that like corruption happening there? Slightly. Hey, Connor. I'll catch up with the chat in a sec, by the way. I'm sorry. I was making a report to the Cyberline. Well, do you plan on staying in the elevator? No. I'm coming. <laughs> Question suspect. Okay, right. Let me catch up. Sorry. Um, it's all right, Tron. Don't worry, man. It's fine. Yeah, Undertaker is really, really good, dude. Yeah. This is just on PS4. It's on PC soon, though. Jonas, how's it going? Good to see you again. Yeah, that wink. That was an awkward wink. I can't, I can't, I can't wink very well. <laughs> um, it's, it's kind of, um, it's, it's sort of like a story. Like it's like a telltale game, in that you make decisions and it changes uh, the outcome of uh, of the game. So, like, for example, characters can live or die depending on your choices in the game. So it's, it's much it's a much more slower paced, more deliberate game. Um, it's like the Netflix movie, kind of. Yeah, you're more in control than like the Netflix stuff. Yeah. I'm sorry, but that looked more like a prostitute giving a potential customer a wink than a friend. It did. <laughs> Hey, how do you know, Reese? How many prostitutes have you been uh, soliciting? I wouldn't have thought the um, specs for this on PC would be like massively high, considering the P it should be PS4. Like PS4 specs should be able to do it to some degree, I would have thought. Me neither, but not being able to wink is a nice way to start a conversation. <laughs> you just do it deliberately, like, deliberately bad, so that they know what they're getting into. <laughs> we know about this guy. Not much. Just that a neighbor reported that he heard strange noises coming from this floor. Nobody's supposed to... Can you hear that bass in the, uh, in the room up here? ...to be living here, but... The neighbor said he saw a man hiding an LED under his cap. Oh, Christ. If we have to investigate every time somebody hears a strange noise, we're going to need more cops. Okay. Hey, were you really making a report back... Now, there's, there's uh, something I can look at there. GTX 660. Yeah, that sounds about right. That would probably be lower than PS4, though, wouldn't it? Slightly, I would have said. Maybe? I don't know. Oh, I'm 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 well after uh, Cyberpunk Undertaker. Can't wait for that. I'm hoping they they show more of that off at E3. I think. There in the elevator, just by closing your eyes. Correct. Shit. Shit. I I could... Rock pigeon. Do that. That would be useful. We can play good, good cop, bad cop here. Not harder. Anybody home? Open up, Detroit police. Stay behind me. Got it. Uh, you know I'm gonna fuck this one up, whatever it is. I thought that looked like the OCP logo there. It really did. What is going on with this? Hang on. Right, before we do that, we need to have a read. Reading is important, kids. <laughs> 660s compared to a PS4, right? Recommend is a uh, 1080. That's just fancy ray and stuff. Some, some of the lighting. 
probably like some maybe some better physics or something. Good thing you read for me, baby. Uh, let's see. Red Ice Epidemic, the latest narcotic crisis to ravage Detroit. NATO Security Council divided over Arctic dispute. UN warns of World War Three. <sighs> Maybe we could do a reading stream at some point. Get like a like a nice, nice uh, like la like lounge chair. I could put on a smoking jacket. Have like a nice light in the background, and just read read books to you. <laughs> There's got to be a gap in the market there, right? Uh, let's see. The synthetic stimulant, informally known as Red Ice, has become the drug of choice for Detroit's growing underclass. Analysts have pointed to Detroit's status as the epicenter of Android production, suggesting the drug flourishes in the dissatisfaction caused by androids taking human jobs. Sociologist Dr. Julian Carter has drawn the same link with androids. As Cyberlife's androids spread across the country, they will bring Red Ice with them. Poor men and women desperate to make ends meet are vulnerable to become users or even dealers. Not only is the popularity of this drug spreading rapidly, but its chemical composition is uniquely dangerous. Therium, the main ingredient in Android Blue Blood, is among the active agents in Red Ice and has a highly destabilizing effect on hormone production. The National Association for Narcotic Prevention NANP, say the problem is going to get worse. The purity of ingredients is very low and deteriorating. America's biggest narcotics industry is only likely to grow. Red ice dealers are reported to have an unofficial motto. Where the blood is blue, the ice is red and the money is green. Lovely. Uh, what's on your right on the wall? I see many brown cubes. What is that wall? I don't know. It seems like we might have another deviant android here potentially. Maybe not ASMR, Mel. I don't know if like I don't know if people would appreciate ASMR from me. Highly generalizing here. I'm not sure if I, I don't know if this is actually the case. Isn't ASMR like very much only it only seems to be like women that do ASMR? I could be wrong, I don't know. I've not looked into it enough. Whenever I see clips of it though, it's always it's always the ladies doing it. PS4 is five years old. It's it's more than five years old, isn't it? It's 2013. It came out. Ju no, it's just about just about two, isn't it? It is a generalization. Okay. Yeah, I didn't know. I didn't know. Wait, is it six? Is it six? And it's coming up to seven. Yeah, I don't get it, Mel. Some some people like really like it, don't they? I don't. I don't get it personally. Seems a bit seems a bit strange to me. Uh, let's see, past the tipping point, Earth's environment officially beyond repair. Bees officially extinct. Global famine to follow. Environmentalists have long warned us about the tipping point, the moment at which global warming reaches a level that is irreversible. Scientists are now saying we have officially passed it. Global rainforests have been reduced by seventy nine percent since the year two thousand, and coastal corals by fifty eight percent. Polar ice has melted to such an extent that rising sea levels have many states struggling to keep the water out of their coastal towns. With these cooling factors so diminished, there is now too much carbon in the atmosphere for the environment to ever absorb. Jason Rees, head of the Global Environment Agency, said, This study confirms what many of us have suspe suspected for a long time, but the real calamity is the linked decline of natural resources from energies to minerals, which are almost exhausted and can never be replaced. Many environmentalists have criticised Reese's comments as discouraging people from taking action, but Reese has defied these criticisms. It's important people accept the reality of the situation. The planet will keep getting hotter now. The only question is how fast. Uh, is it I am? Is that how you say your name? I am. Hello. It's um. Wait, it's ten past two for you. It's ten past twelve here. You're a bit bit further uh, east than I am. If you seek for the fastest way to gain weird followers, try the ASMR tag. I'm not I'm not really up for that, Mel. Honestly, I'm really not up for that. Magazine's too accurate. Uh, it's, it's, it's very on the nose. I think we uh, know what... Uh, I was going to say Nicolas Cage there. 
I think we know what David Cage's uh, thought like politics is in this game. He tried it for fun, because I thought no one would actually take that serious. Did they take it really seriously? Are you from the Ukraine? Is it is it REM? Is that how you say your name? I apologise if I say it, said it wrong. Welcome to the stream though, dude. Okay, yeah, so we've got some weird... Uh, weird shit all over the walls here. What the fuck is this? He's not in here, is he? Uh, no. Jesus, this place stinks. Oh, look, it's the bird uh, dude like from Pat Labor. Our man. It's gone. Or is he hiding? Ah, uh, look at that last. Let's look at this shit first. Um, urban farm post. The fields in the heart of the city. Okay. Uh, what else have we got? Hundred percent recycled paper recently moved. Is there something behind it? <laughs> that was really. That seemed like really good timing there, didn't it? Yeah, real name's Artium, right? Like uh, the Metro dude, right? They did like uh, they were like, when is ASMR starting? When are you going to take off some clothes? I think you serious. They actually say that, and they were being serious about it. Wait, what? Computer language going over your head, Tom? No, I just you know you guys seem to be talking amongst yourselves. <laughs> uh, oh, uh, is it is it Artem? Is that how you say it? Or Artem? Welcome to the stream, though, dude. Thank you for the follow. Appreciate it. Is that a Bible or something? No. Found something? I don't know. It looks like a notebook, but it's indecipherable. What else have we got in here? There's tons of stuff. People actually become really pushy because of clothing. Fuck me, it's so bad, isn't it? I want to see if they want that kind of stuff. They, they've got other websites on the internet to look at. Suspect doesn't eat, so he's an android. I guess. Or really malnourished. Or maybe just eating the birds. Could be just eating the pigeons. Suspect cares for wild animals. Wait, Kermit, you want me to get naked? Why? <laughs> Military jacket. RT. Probably initials. He put his initials in his jacket? That's something your mom did. Rupert Travis. The driver's license is fake. Cool. At least we didn't come for nothing. I feel like, yeah, I feel like checking the uh, cupboard is going to be the, uh, well, it's it's the obvious first place to check, isn't it? You just ban them straight away, Mel, yeah. Artium, right, okay. Is anyone wearing pants on Twitch? There's no way to tell. <laughs> Oh, nice. I oh, got some blood. Oh no, that's his um, LED. Its LED is in the sink. Not surprised it was an android. No human could live with all these fucking pigeons. <laughs> no, no humans could live with these fucking pigeons. Slug, you never wear pants. Alright, so we've got the RA9 shit again. 
Any idea what it means? RA-9. Written 2,471 times. It's the same sign Ortiz's android wrote on the shower wall. Why are they obsessed with this sign? Looks like mazes or something. Obsessive compulsive writing. I mean that's it though, isn't it? Yeah, like ASMR is for listening. You don't, you don't, you don't even need to see the person, do you? So they're clearly there just for like bobs. Traces of avian fecal matter, really, in this place filled with birds. I am shocked, sir. Okay, what we got here? Oh, has he climbed up into something? Suspect was here recently. That was the loud noise we heard. That was when we knocked on the door, I guess. Okay. Real books. Thought I was the last guy to find cause a loud noise. Well, that should be it, shouldn't it? Electronic books. You can't smell the paper. See the pages turning yellow. Okay, that that's probably the loud noise, right? You have no idea what I'm talking about. The shortest oh shit, hang on. The shortest NBA player that could dunk was five foot four. Hey, I could get in the uh, I could get in the NBA. If I was like ten years younger. Um I Tron, I am five foot seven. <laughs> well, maybe you're right, Reese. Perhaps you're right. Alright, no fingerprints, so yeah, definitely Android. I mean, we didn't really need much more proof of that, did we? Skid marks. Traces of galvanized steel. Is that a fiber? Metal hook. So he must have banged into this. Ran towards entrance. Suspect heard us enter. So he is hiding in here. Right? Oh, he climbed in the roof. Alright. I didn't even look up. Does that mean we can open this as well, though? No. Okay. Birds. What are you waiting for? Chase it! Oh no, QTEs. My weakness. I, f I swear I pressed, uh, I thought I pressed, um, square there. Fast but risky, easy but slow. Let's go fast. Hang on, oh no, we're not going fast at all. <laughs> How risky are we looking? Balanced, safe to do fast but risky. Let's go this way. Direct but crowded. Can he die there? Wait, where did he go? Oh shit, it was this way. Yeah, I'll go I'm gonna go fast but risky, I think.
Dude, this is pretty sick. I'm really scared of fucking this up super bad. Look out. Oh shit. We gotta help Hank. Of course we're helping Hank. No, no, didn't even have to think twice. Shit. We had it. Fuck. It's my fault. I should have been faster. You'd have caught it if it weren't for me. That's alright. We know what it looks like. We'll find it. Hey, Connor. Nothing. He likes us. <laughs> yeah, didn't even have to didn't even have to think twice there to save him. <clears throat> uh hang on, what's this? I've missed tons of chat there. I can't dunk. I don't know. I could dunk. I could be the greatest basketball player of all time, Tron, but we'll never find out. We'll never find out. Can you... Add, uh, I wonder if you can catch him before um, before it gets to that choice. Yeah, I didn't fuck it up, did I? Hey, He did get away, though, so I did kind of fuck up. It did say... I, I did notice that it said 89% chance of survival, like, if I didn't grab him but I want to be friends with um with uh Mr Mr Hank. There's another thing there? Oh that's probably checking the um cupboard, isn't it? It looks like checking the cupboard would have mean meant something bad would happen. Like it's another big thing. No, he won't die, no, but he'll like he'll be like, you fucker, you just let me like you just left me there. You can miss Rupert, right? Is that from looking in the um, in the cupboard or something? Or oh, that's if you take too long and leave, right? Okay. Yeah, that's cool though. That's really cool. So it looks like can you? Um, it looks like there's a, a bit there where you could probably get him before before it gets to that point, right? Let's see. How did everyone do? Uh, most people found the diary. Yeah, it looks like everyone went. Most people saved Hank. Yeah. Good. About friends, friends stats. I don't know if uh, many people played this on my friends list. That was cool though. That was uh, that was an exhilarating chase. I'd like to. I'd like to see it again. Just like see how badly you can fuck it up. <laughs> I was. I know. Like Connor gets put into like uh, some kind of like machine. It just gets like crunched to bits. Or if like you miss that train jump, do you just like end up just splatting onto the ground or something? <laughs> cool. All right. Let's continue. <laughs>